thesmartlocal.com Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of TSL Travels. We'll be discovering the beautiful city of Midan, a gateway to the sights and sounds of Sumatra. Right after we landed, we took a 5-hour drive to Parapat. Along the way, we stopped by for lunch in the city of Pematang Sienta. Madan is famous for their food, and Mi Pancit is one of the most popular noodle dishes in the area. So after a long 5-hour drive, we're finally here at Parapat. We're going to spend a night here with a view of the beautiful Lake Toba. Lake Toba is the biggest volcanic lake in the world. It's also the site of a supervolcanic eruption that took place some 77,000 years ago, killing most of humanity. You won't notice any of its turbulent history when you visit. Watching the sun set over Lake Toba is incredibly calming. On our second day, we visited the iconic goldfish monument. Locals believe that a man named Toba once had a beautiful wife, a goldfish that took the form of a woman. We bought ourselves some tiny mangoes along the way to fuel our tummies. These fruits were planted and harvested in Lake Toba and tasted really sweet. On route to our next destination, we stopped by Sima Jarunju for a cup of their signature ginger tea. We're now at Ruma Bolon, it's actually the former residence of a Batak king. If you look at the background here, this long house is actually uh, the residence and the quarters of the king. Mm, we heard that the king has 22 wives and this is where they come to pound on the corn to make flour. Standing in the Batak residence, you will notice many buffalo skulls hanging from the ceiling. A buffalo was sacrificed each time a new king takes over as their horns symbolise power. Roma Bolo's architecture is fascinating. You won't find a single nail in this building as it is held together entirely by interlocking wooden planks. Sepiso Piso Waterfall is actually the tallest waterfall in Indonesia. The name translates to sharp like a knife, referring to the way the water cuts through the face of the cliff. We're sitting in the middle of two active volcanoes. This one here is Gunung Sinabung and that one is Gunung Sibaya. According to our guy, Gunung Sinabung just uh, erupted like two weeks ago. Yeah, so we were planning on visiting it but uh, maybe time to change our plans. Yeah. <laughs> we're soaking in a hot spring at the foot of Mount Sibaya. It was our first time having a spa-like experience surrounded by the cold air of the mountains. After a long 5-hour drive, we arrived at Gunung Gosa National Park at Bukit Lawang. We're at Bukit Lawang right now, and it's a conservatory for orang utan. We'll be trekking into the jungle later to feed some of them. Now we're having a scenic lunch by the river at Sam's Bungalow before we head into the forest to feed the orangutans. Unfortunately, because it was fruiting season and food was a plenty deep in the jungle, we didn't manage to see any orangutans. But we made new Australian friends and we saw some monkeys too. Madan is famous for their durian, so of course I had to try some. Get your durian fix at Bukit Lawang. They taste lighter than the ones we're used to, but they're still sweet. What you're looking at right now is a heart attack in a box. Matabak is basically mi chiam kue, only 10 times more sinful. Try the chocolate cheese flavour. It was our first time mixing these two things together, but it was surprisingly good. Thank you Changi Airport for bringing us to Madan and getting us acquainted with Sumatra's natural beauty. This is the last episode of our Discover Indonesia series. You can watch our previous episodes and visit Indonesia's hidden gems yourself. Find out the latest deals in the description box below. We'll be spending the night here. 
with the view of the beautiful so hard on it. So after a long five hour drive, we're finally here in Parapat. And some of us. And go. Hey, I'm ready here. Yeah. On my lap, we're sketching your face. Oh, sorry. 